welcome to MGP 369. I'm Kevin. With me as ever, the Sheepdog Anna and Pab say hello, boys and girls. Hello. Hi. Hello there. Sheepdog, I know you've got a new microphone, but goodness me, does your voice sound different now? Scottish there, apparently. Aye. Aye. Yeah, were you Scottish all along? <laughs> Aye. Are we just, are we just, and you're going to do the whole podcast in that voice now because that's your real voice. Aye. Now you've got a proper microphone. Excellent. Do you know any other words in Scottish, or is that is that the one? <laughs> you keep asking me yes no questions. Well, that, you see, now you sound like an extra of East Enders again. It's yeah. all gone wrong. I enjoyed having Scottish sheepdog just for a minute there. <laughs> I just thought I don't pleasant. know how to answer this other than that way. Aye. Um, you should have just kept that one going. It's worked for Ant and Deck for years. That's all one of them says. I don't know which one. Yeah, they're both. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not even going to try. The, and there's guess. the one that speaks and the one that goes aye, and that's it. That's that's their act. We could that could be us, shoot dog. We could be doing. <laughs> we could be doing Saturday night takeaway. I do like takeaways. Exactly. Um, it's been two weeks since we've done a podcast. I'm told because you two were too lazy to do one while me and Anna were off gallivanting. It's do you want to explain yourselves? I've done any internet stuff? I just retired from the internet. I put out a couple of hilarious tweets from time to time, and that's about it. This, none of this sounds like you. Mm. You spend a lot of time on the internet, and you've never, you wouldn't know a funny tweet if it hit you in the eye. <laughs> well, one did, and I shared it. Excellent. Other than that, I've been chilling out, playing why games. Have you been, why have you been hiding from the internet? What did you do? <laughs> time? Mic, that's what he did. He broke his mic the, the, the well, second after we recorded last. Yeah, last week I did my post-show slam dunk, but um, my microphone bounced off of where I normally slam dunk it, and it bounced onto the floor and rolled around a bit. So I sat and tried to record my own little podcast on my own, and it was just, it, it was terrible. It just as, so as everyone crappy. would expect it to be, but how was the mic? <laughs> um, so yeah, that, that was that, and here I am now with a new mic, uh, Pabs Yeti. Splendid. Pab, you haven't sent me a gift, why did she not get a gift? I mean, you slam dunk your mic, <laughs> I'll send you Deal! I'll slam dunk my old Yeti, you have to upgrade me from there. No, no, that's not how it works. I think it is, you sent him a better mic than the one he broke. I'm going to drive my car into a ditch, and you have to send me a better one. <laughs> uh, I've had a I've had a whole month of upgrades. I upgraded my phone, my microphone, and my car. Nice. Yeah, all all through the same process, smashing them to pieces, and someone coming to your rescue. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> yeah. I took my broken old uh, Ford and gave that Drove to my into wife a, a new car, and I took her car, which is much better than my old car was. Excellent. Um, so, other than Sheepdog smashing stuff and getting free upgrades, um, how how has the last two weeks been treating everybody? Because as as long time listeners will know, we don't converse when we're not on the podcast. I've pretty much forgotten you two existed over the last two weeks because we hadn't spoken. And then Anna reminded me about twenty minutes ago that we do a podcast on a Friday, <laughs> and I just yelled back, "Who with?" <laughs> and she had to show me photos of you both. That sounds about mm. right. Text you once, I think, over the fortnight. Fortnight, because one of your um, YouTube videos had a very clickbaity title, and I didn't want to have to sit through twenty minutes. <laughs> so I just texted you and said what happened. Um, then it turned wow. out my sister had already watched it, and she texted me about it, and I could have just asked her. I didn't even need to talk to you. I think that's a that's a sound policy in future. One of you watch tells the other one. As long as you then watch the adverts afterwards, so I get paid. That's all that really matters. <laughs> I don't even remember which video. I, I don't think I have clickbaited a video recently. I've been a good boy. I've been behaving. Well, no, I think it was more that something alarming happened. Not the robbery one. The other, uh, There was another alarming thing that happened um, that it all worked out fine. And, uh, yeah, you've had quite a busy fortnight, really, haven't you? We have. If people want to know about that, they can watch <laughs> the vlog. I'm not, wait, I'm not telling you those stories for free. You know, who do you think I am, a mug? Watch my vlog, you monsters. That's my contribution to the conversation. Anna, mm. you still still awake there? Mm. Anna's tired. Anna's had the busiest week of all because she's had. What have you had in the last week? You've had you've presented your dissertation, yeah, and you've had a job interview. Yeah, some of us and... follow her on LinkedIn, Kev, so we know about <laughs> the presentation and the interview. I liked her uh, presentation on LinkedIn. Um, What's wrong with you people using LinkedIn? You bunch of granddads. 
That's not the tools we have to use. Goodness me. Was your interview, there's a body, can you tell us who did it? And you had to just sit and solve a crime. No, there's nothing to do about crime. It was. Well, how uh, do they know you're any good at solving crime? I'm not. I'm not going for a crime job. Mm. It's a nice job, job inside where I won't get wet and I won't be cold, and I'll be in a nice, comfy chair. So, Bus driver. She's going to be. She's going to be a <laughs> podcaster. <laughs> She was so, interviewing with me. No, it was it was fine. I had to go in. I had to write. I had to write about my life in thirty minutes, in order, which was fine. Though I didn't like it because I think in I, order. This yeah, happened the, the day before. Then well, no, but they didn't want to be like, oh, when I was ten, I went to the school, but when I was four, I went to the school. They wanted it in order because of the, the nature of the job, and they were like, most people now type, they don't write, and I was like, okay. That's fine, but they didn't leave me a second piece of paper to lean on. I, I hate writing on paper that's like right next to the table. It Humans just makes, do. My immediate yeah, just, reaction to that would have been, you've given me half an hour and just one piece of paper. <laughs> How slow do you think I write? <laughs> oh, well, no, like, I'd finished like 10 minutes before they came in. I just sat there and go through it trying to make some kind of grammar in it because my grammar is awful. But did you kind of leave him hanging at the end, like? And I walked into I opened the door, <laughs> and behind it was dot, well, dot, I, dot. as they walked in, I made out I was writing a sentence, like, but I didn't end the sentence; I just left it. So the I, so special. they, so they never nice. know. <laughs> and then I had to answer some questions, which, which was weird because it was like they asked me a question, I gave them the answer, and then the goes, "The answer we were looking for was this." I was like, "Yeah, but I, I said that." I, I, I don't I, I think they want me to like spell it out what they want what they wanted to hear but I was like it was very strange but I'm thinking maybe I need just to explain myself more but whatever that I'm was I'm still fine. hung up on this writing because <laughs> <laughs> when someone asks well, no, me because I'm about getting my life... there I'm guessing why it, they need that because then I went upstairs to the room with all the uh, TVs for the cameras and I had to then watch a mock up of what someone had did and I had to write down like all the details so it was like two people so I, I wrote down like the date, the time, what they were both wearing, where they were going, what shops they went into and then why they were in the shops, who went past the shop which like it, I, rem- I was like oh that, woman, that woman's nothing to do with what she's wearing a yellow coat, I noted that down Oh, there's a woman there with twins and um, a little girl. I'll oh, note that down. And I just noted it and then, like the couple came out and then who came out the shop first? What did the woman do? How did the woman change? What car were they in? What car reg was it? What time did they leave? And I got all of them right except for the last one because I didn't note down the time they left the car park. So I just guesstimated. But it was fine. And then I just sat there and just asking questions. But it was good. It was all right. I'll, they'll let me know by next week. Like they do training there, they seem very nice, but they did make me wait an awfully long time for my interview, which is annoying because people Cause you were, were late. There stupidly early. Was I even that? You... I got there at at two. I didn't get to go in to the interview room till four. Like... Should they let you take the funny videos home for a vlog? No, no. <laughs> like you just sit there and someone slips over a banana peel and you could just be like, oh, capture that one, 4.15 Tuesday. <laughs> it's going in the vlog. I reckon that but goes then, then saying. It's because, like, say something happens, I need to make notes there and then I don't have time to type. I have to make the notes and then when the instance finished and I have to go and report it to the police. But I was like, that's fine. Don't you have playback? There's like, yes, we do. I was like... Well, that should be in the test that you can go and re- re- uh, re-watch these things. Just to clarify for anyone who has no idea what's going on, she went for a job to be a CCTV person. Because you haven't actually said that. Oh. We've been very cryptic about it. And um, it's Apologies. been very confusing. Um, but yeah, that's why she was looking at TVs and watching people. And it's also why, hopefully, if she gets a job, we'll be starting a new feature on the vlog <laughs> called Where's Kevin? Where I hide somewhere within the region she can watch and give her a certain time to find me. Which apparently is illegal. It is. How did you resist that. not writing the uh, theme song to Fresh Prince of Bel-Air as your life story? Because that's all <laughs> I would have done. <laughs> and, I mean, 
<laughs> in my English GCSE, I wrote the the uh, lyrics to "Summertime" because the question was, "What are you doing over summer?" And um, <laughs> <laughs> when I had time left, I went into Miami and took some things from that as well. Oh, um, so using funny. Will Smith songs to answer questions is is just that's why he writes them. That's why he releases songs. So. All that, all through that, I was just thinking I'd, I'd be finding ways to word it so that it wasn't obvious it was the Fresh Prince theme tune until the very end <laughs> when you tell him how you were sat on your throne. Um, I reckon that would have got you the job. That was, that's it. That was what they were looking. They were even looking for if you had the balls to do that, or they were <laughs> weeding people out because I've had too many people do that. But one way or the other, that's yeah. I feel like that's a missed opportunity. Um, if you don't get this one, you know what to do for the next one. I'm not going to do that. Like, I might start going to job interviews just so I can do that. It sounds fun. <laughs> you could just sneak a camera in and be like, you know, Kev pranks <laughs> the uh, interviewer this is, again. This is a good. This is a good idea for a video series. I might start going to random job interviews, <laughs> cameraed up. <laughs> Just, <laughs> film yourself being shown around a school doing the the little test they make you mark and you just putting ridiculous answers yeah. and then just staring them down while they read through your answers and think what on earth when you're being interviewed by the student panel and you're just like I just think they all just need beating just, just hit them all Every, if they look at you funny just slap them and just <laughs> film their reaction problem is computer science teachers are in such shortage I'd probably still get the job <laughs> <laughs> you would that's the, the super part of it you just say I want 10 grand up front and then when they pay you just let's leave a go recording of you laughing go <laughs> off sick yeah that's a good shout um, so video games has yeah. anyone done any of those or should we continue just waxing lyrical about our exciting lives I've played a few games oh Gordon Bennett well, yeah. uh, I will start well. I mean there's one that I'm not going to review because you've reviewed it every week for the past 10 million weeks, but I did get Civilization on the Switch. Um, Sounds like a good game. Yeah, it is good. It's a, it's it's hard to get the hang of the controls being different at first, but I played a bit of it. It is addictive as always. Um, I'm impressed with it. I, I, it has more bits to it than I expected it to. I didn't get the, up, the um, add-ons because they're like another 30 quid on top but uh, maybe I will in future. I can't remember what, what you said about them, like how much difference it makes to the game itself. They had, um, I think, relig- I don't think religion's in the base game. Um, uh, yeah, I started a religion. Uh, there's there's some stuff that's not in there. I forget which parts were new and which parts were in there in the base game, so I never really played the base game. Um, adds other sieves and stuff like that. And okay. Because they're... Um... The promotion, uh, natural disasters, probably yeah. Actually, their big promotion was a giant. Well, I'm guessing it was a volcano. I just thought it's a big mountain. Why do I want a big mountain? And they did. I didn't watch the video where it probably erupted. Um, so yeah, natural disasters sounds about right. And I probably don't want them because I want to conquer the world, not get wiped out by a volcano. Um, but yeah, that's been fun. I was very delighted that Game Pass added Two Point Hospital. And so I've been okay. playing that, um, showing that off to my kids. Uh, Mrs. Sheepdog thinks it's hilarious, was reading all the little notes. Um, I remember talking to Pab about this a long time ago and just saying, does it have things like the receptionist from uh, Theme Hospital and stuff like that? And it is basically a, a rejigged Theme Hospital, which is exactly what I wanted. Um, yeah, I just again, there's not much to particularly go on with that other than it's really fun. I enjoyed just going through the little missions on it. Um, I like the fact that it's kind of doing what Sim City did, where you can keep building new districts and places. And I'm ass- I haven't gone back to them to check this, so correct me if I'm wrong, Pat. But I'm assuming they're still continuing on back in their um, that sort of town down the road. The hospital I built there hasn't just ceased to run. No, I think you like kind of. Road. I think you kind of move. It's, it it feels more like you get to a certain point in a in a hospital and it goes. Oh, you can move on to the next one, though, can't you? So it feels like a, it feels kind of semi-level based. So I think if you go, if you went back there to that to that level per se, you would go back to it, and it would still be the same hospital. Your hospital All would right. still be there. It, it implied I could go and manage my empire, or I could continue building it. 
one yeah, point. exactly. You can we can move on to another another like district, can't you? Move and start again there. You pretty much start building a hospital again there from there. Oh, okay. I was hoping I could go back and just find that there was I don't know vomit everywhere and I need to fix I, the problem. I I don't know. I'm not. I've never done. Mm. I I pretty much when I played it, I only pretty much did like I moved on to the next next like progression of like I went on to the next level, did that one, then moved on again, and I don't, I never really went back. But I assume they just they are just there. I assume you don't just go. You know, it nuke, doesn't just nuke it, and you have to start at level again. I'm assuming it just it just continues to run without you. It seems like you're able to try and build them up to like five star hospitals. They're all one star, I think, at this point. They're less yeah, than yeah, than yeah. Star. Um, I suddenly realised a bit of the way in that I don't really remember ever managing the money of my hospitals when I was a kid playing theme hospitals. So I had a look through this, and there's a lot more that I than I remember you being able to. I know you could up the cost of treatments and stuff like that but mm -hmm. I, I remember always ending up with bankrupt hospitals because i was like you know 14 15 trying to run an empire of hospitals whereas now all i need to do is put an extra 10 percent on everything and whatever and i seem to be doing all right um my family are all annoyed with me for putting like three plants in every room but i want prestigious rooms and that's the only way you can add prestige to them early in the game so they were all asking me why the psychiatric room has like six flowers in it or plants in it, sorry. Um, but yeah, I, want, I, I was hiring a prestigious psychiatrist and I wanted them to feel welcome. So yeah, I'm enjoying that. That's a great little game. It's on Game Pass, so get it if you haven't got it already. Um, You've been playing this as well, haven't you, Anna? Yeah, I played it before, but it was on Game Did Pass. Did you get it on Switch? Yeah. Oh, wait, you got it on Game Pass because it's yeah. on Switch, Kev. Yeah, I did yeah, have it pre-ordered and I cancelled it when I realised... I already own it on Steam, and it's coming on Game Pass, or is now out on Game Pass. And as much as I'd like it on Switch, it's 30 quid on there, and that's mm. more than it's cost on either of the other two things I've got it on by quite a long way. Correct. So, yeah, I was very not. close to um, doing the cynical thing of asking them for a review, and then I just thought, it's on Game Pass, I don't need to do that. It's, it's just me being cheeky, because I know I'll play it more on Switch. But, um, yeah. I think everyone's probably in the same boat. Most people listening probably have an Xbox. Um, is it on PS4? Does anyone know? It's out on PS4, I think, but I don't think it really, it's not on any like Game Pass service or anything. But even if people don't have an Xbox, if they've got a PC, then they should have Game Pass on there as well. Or they're crazy, in which yeah. case they can play it on PC. For it's a good shout. Um, I was going to ask, if games tend to come out on Game Pass, do they often double up on... No. PS Plus, no? No, um, PS Plus. Whatever it's called, the one where you get free games. It is PS yeah, Plus. Yeah, yeah, they don't, they don't offer, they're not often like in sync with each other. They're not, they're well, normally, they're not, they're normally like, if anything, they, they kind of go in competition with each other. They don't really kind of go, if you're doing that, we'll do the same sort of thing. No, they kind of just... I kind of meant more like, will it, will it mean it's never going to be on there? But that's probably... No, I mean, if, if it comes to Game Pass, then it, I feel like, Game Pass games come out on their like kind of day and date sort of thing sometimes, but I, I rarely see a game come out on PS Plus day and date these days. It's very rare that happens these days. It's mainly, mainly older games that go to PS Plus realistically nowadays. Yeah, so so it you, might be on there in future. You, you might get it in future, but not not imme not immediately like you, we have done with Game Pass. It'd be worth checking if it's on the Switch in the uh, sale as well, because that was the thing that got me yeah, into yeah. Civ, was the... Stick it on like, the wish list. Up to 90% off or something stupid, and so Civ was down to like half price, and yeah. I think I I had enough Amazon vouchers that I could buy most of the value in Nintendo money or whatever, and it just like, I, was, I was able to just cobble it together without actually really spending it, um, but... I don't know. It'd be worth checking. It's a good game. Get it. And um, the other thing that was on uh, a Game Pass was Kingdom Hearts three, and oh wow, okay, yeah, I had so I played one and two when I, I played a lot of one. I don't think I actually completed it, and then I played sort of half of two, and then I think I just I think I was I can't remember when I would have been playing that. That's quite an old. Is that PS two Kingdom Hearts two? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so I'm thinking that might have been actually the sort of era like I moved in with my wife and I was going to say tried to be grown up, but I didn't because I remember being really into Pokemon still then and <laughs> trying to explain to her why I still watched the cartoon when I was in my early <laughs> 20s. But um, I, I guess life just got in the way and I never really completed that either. So going back to this, 
I was quite pleased that it starts with a rather long video. I ended up skipping once I had caught up with what the the story was in my head. I just ended up skipping the rest. So my family were a bit miffed because they were they were into it. They were quite enjoying this random Disney film that they were watching. Um, my wife was surprised that this existed, which I mean she's not a gamer, so yeah, fair enough. But when um, when it had Mick, uh, when it showed Mickey in a picture and then Donald and Goofy turn up. She's like, all oh, right, that's interesting. And then when it's like Hades and Hercules and all the characters from that, she's like, how many Disney characters are in this? I said, well, oh. it's all of Disney, pretty much, like up to whenever, whenever. If it was pre Moana, then she won't be in it. But if it was post Moana, I'd imagine she's there somewhere. Um, I think it goes up to like Frozen, doesn't it? I think Fro- I know Frozen's in it. So, yeah, Moana was after that. Yeah, um, so I don't, I don't, that might not be then. But yeah, so they ended up, it got to the point where I was playing that, my son was watching it to my right, my wife was watching it, the little one was, uh, my, my bloody Xbox controller's broken, like, it won't charge, so I'm using a wired one, so he kept just kicking the damn wire out. But even uh, my daughter was on her phone, but asking me what it was, she could tell her friends what it was, and she was looking at it, and everyone just thought it was really cool. Um, it's easy to pick up, you know, you're just going around hacking at the, the heartless and you know setting up your team and everything but uh what's i gonna say oh yeah one thing that it proves for me this looks really really pretty and nice and um, i know it's not that new is it it's what it's been out two years or something at least uh came out um i think the, I've the, the, last, Jan- last january sheepdog right so. So it's been out a year a oh, year it feels longer than that because i was gonna get it and then i just again got a bit sidetracked and anyway it looks really nice and I thought when I was playing uh, the Outer Worlds before, we thought maybe the Xbox being old was the reason it didn't look good. And watching this start up, I was thinking, no, definitely not. It's nothing because because this looks great. I mean, Square Enix are generally quite good at making things look really pretty and cinematic and special. And this just, I, I it came up on a telly and I thought, bloody hell, how good would this look if I had? like the the 4k xbox on my telly and um yeah how good would this look if i had a decent machine basically because it looks bloody good and i'm excited i think i'm gonna get away with being able to play this in front of everyone because they're all hooked watching it and enjoying it and whatever um they all want they all said can they start their own save so (laughs) in the interest of safety i've now got I think I've ended up saving on like uh, slot one, three, and six, thinking you surely can't all save over me because <laughs> lately the the past few games I've started that they've liked the look of, I've come, I've sat down to play it and they've saved over my damn save, and that's you might notice on the on the podcast when I say like I was playing Epic Mickey a few weeks back, and well I came in the other week and it, my game had been saved over and suddenly they were somewhere else in it so I stopped playing it um, it was also making me a bit dizzy um city skylines that happened it's it's just constant it's ridiculous um the the real issue here is I need to get him his own xbox or give him this one and get my own xbox but I don't want to do that yet he's just got he's got a switch um but yeah Kingdom Hearts 3, excellent game. The only other thing I want to touch on this week is I actually accidentally caused a meltdown earlier in the week because I'm so sick of Roblox being the devil of games that I ended up deleting it off of my son's, um, well, my wife's Kindle that he was playing it on because it is so broken and so badly made that he was getting to the point where he was just shouting and hollering at it and hitting the Kindle and getting upset. And it was like every time he played it, he was just at his you know, wit's end with it. And after one particularly difficult afternoon, I just thought, I'm getting, I'm killing it. I need to get rid of this game. It's ruining us. And so we did. And he's gutted that it's gone because he loved playing it. But that is such a shoddy game. And if your kids are ever interested in getting into it, don't let them. Because it's just shockingly bad. Um, I can't believe it. it's so badly made. Every level's broken. It constantly wants money out of you for anything. And uh, yeah, I'm just a bit miffed with it this week because he's still upset. His classmates play it and he's not allowed now. But it really messes with him because it's so broken. Um, and then I think we touched on that before, didn't we? That it, it's not very well designed for Xbox and that kind of thing. But I've killed it in this house now. I think only my daughter's got it on her phone because she doesn't get upset by it. But oh, it's dead to me now. I hate it. It's my, oh, they've made an enemy out of me. And that's the end of my rant. <laughs> That was quite the rent. Um, Hab, would you like to go next, little fella? I mean, I, I could tell you about all the games I've been playing, but, you know, 
civilization of football there manager. There aren't any new ones. And Total Extreme Wrestling. I'm not a total yeah. monster. Yeah. Yeah, we're no. called the usuals. So that's me done. Come on, be as efficient as me, Pab. Um, I mean, my usuals of Apex is still going going. I mean, I, I, I don't need to say anything else about Apex. Apex is Apex. Um... I don't know whether to see. I, the small thing I will say about Apex is that I don't know whether I don't know whether to, I think matchmaking is getting better because oh I don't know I don't know what's going on at the minute. The other night we had like four wins in a night and that's not been the norm for the last season. And I'm thinking the, the matchmaking is getting better or feels like it's getting easier. I'm definitely not getting better. I don't think I'm getting better. I think I'm just getting put placed with lesser good people. Um, that's that's Isn't what that I'm presuming. What they're supposed to do though. They're supposed to like let you sink down to the people who've lost as many times as you. Yeah, you know, like I say, I don't, I don't, I actually don't know how, how it works exactly. But I feel like I'm, like I say, I've got, I've probably got more wins this season now at week week. I think we're at week four or five of season four now. Than I've probably got more wins this season four now at week five than the entire thirteen weeks of season three. It's been it's been bizarre. We've been getting a lot of good wins recently. Anyway, that's that it wasn't even what I was meant to be talking about. <laughs> um what I've been playing, you may have seen it, I have been streaming it pretty much exclusively. Um, is Red Dead Two. I know Anna popped in at some point to um okay. to watch me streaming at Red Dead and God damn is that game a good game. <laughs> I have completely done a full one eighty on that game. I, I, it is, it is still, it is still that game. It is still very much that game, where it demands so much of you. It's so, like, it's it is it, everything is so obtuse with that game. The way it controls the things you do, the things that happen in that game, and but the story and everything in the story is just perfect. Is they know how to tell a story, and if this game didn't have that story, I don't think I'd still be playing it. I, that is the only reason I'm there, just playing Shame the story. It takes so long to get started, doesn't it? Oh yeah, I finally, I finally did it. I got out of, I got out of the uh, chapter two. I got into chapter three this week. I'm out of the, I'm out of the actual tutorial stuff. Last was it, was it started this week or end of last week? I did uh, I did my one of my last tutorials on fishing. I did my the obligatory fishing game in an open world game. I got to that bit, did some fishing with a little lad, and um, yeah, that I think that was the last proper tutorial I did for that game. Uh, so now I'm just playing it, and it's been it has been fun. It's been very fun. Um, yeah, it's I, I, I'm enjoying doing it. I'm enjoying doing it on stream. To be fair, I'm enjoying just. People just popping in and chatting with me while I'm just doing these games. That's it. I don't know if that's another thing for me. So I'm, because I'm streaming it, I'm seeing people just in the chat just pinging me over and again. Because you're an um, internet sensation now. Yes, exactly. <laughs> um, yeah. Twitch big shot. That's me. Um, Twitch big shot. <laughs> have you started wearing sunglasses indoors yet? No, but I will have to because this lamp yeah, I've got is blinding. It can have a squinting. I have to get the sunglasses out before summer. It's insane. Um, yeah, it's been. I've not. I've been, I'm not having to pay anywhere near as much attention. I don't know. I don't know. So a lot of the time, I'm, because I'm reading the chat, I just don't. I don't always pay attention. I just kind of follow the markers and just enjoy what I'm doing. Um, yeah, it's been fun. I have been. Like I say, the game is still the game. I've. I've I have so many times where I'm trying to be the good guy, and I get. I get like I have to. Oh god, here we go. I've got to kill someone now. Like you know, this, just I'm like, it's come on. Why are you doing this to me? I tried to defuse a situation, and they pull a gun on me. I shoot them. Someone's seen it. I'm like, well, I've got to kill them now. Because so <laughs> it comes up, it pops up witness, doesn't it? And I've, I'm like, well, I've, that's it now. I've got to kill them now. So I go and kill them. Someone else sees me kill them. I've got to kill them now. It's like killing a, people, just a daisy being chain of people. More discreet or wearing the face mask so they don't know it's you. Oh no, no! I, uh, the, the, the face mask thing was was a good idea, she dug. I never thought of that. But uh, to be fair, the last the last one of the daisy chain of deaths that happened, I he was hidden in a bush and he came looking and I just kind of grabbed him and just choked him out and was like, "Well, he's done." 
It's the, it's, the, it's the only way you didn't see oh, me first. Um, Nobody else saw I, me. I need you to go into a prison and interview murders and then just murderers and then just tell their stories. I was just in the bushes and I choked them out. It, it just you got the right <laughs> voice for it. <laughs> okay. okay. You tell their stories. I yeah, I don't know what I, like I say. It's I'm not doing. I'm doing very little of that game that isn't scripted sort of thing I'm doing I'm not doing encounter I'm, like occasional things that pop up you know like ran, the random encounter things I will do but other than that I'm just following the missions and like I said the story itself is is, is sublime so um, I'll continue to play that probably just exclusively on stream the other game I've been playing I played on stream last week I played a little game called Coin Game I don't know if anyone saw that it was um, it's, it's a, basically like a an arcade game. It's literally a game where you go around an arcade and you play all the arcade machines. Um, it's an early access. What's that on? I've... Oh, right, yeah. It's on, it's on Steam. Um, it's called Coin Game, and you literally got there's like there's like a fairground, um, and there is all fairground rides going on in there. It's like, but it's like a it's like a fairground that you'd find on a field. It's just like loads of like waltzes and all sorts of different rides that you go on. And I was like, it's in first person. I couldn't stay on the rides too long because I felt sick. Just Getting spun around and whatever. Not for yeah. me, then. No, it's it's. I mean, you don't have to you don't have to go on the fairground rides to be fair. Um, and then you go to the you go to like the like kind of like sci-fi arcade, and it's got all like the like the grabber machines and the ski ball, and it it has all these legitimate like arcade machines that you have you see in arcades. Not like they're not like uh, arcade games, like uh, computer games. More like like say. The ski ball, the basketball, the the grabbers, the coin, the coin dozer things. All these things, things. You cheat at in real life. I don't cheat at coin dozer. It's at impossible the to cheat at game, coin dozer. No, it's just some yeah, good. He admits he cheats at everything else. Yeah, though, yeah. You know, it's the wording he just it's, used. It's it's so it's kind of it's so kind of cool that you just wander around and see all these kind of not they're not like officially licensed like with all these things. It's just arcade games that you like. I, I'd seen that arcade game. I know what that is. And it's it's in this game, and it's just fun to play it, and just there's Laser Quest in it as well. I enjoyed playing. I went and played Laser Quest for a bit. That was quite fun. And it's an early access, so I've not played much like that much of it because I don't want to just burn myself out on this game that seems quite fun. Um, and it's got like a, it's got it's, it's quite funny as well. It's kind of it knows what it's like, kind of tongue in cheek as well in places. Um, so I'll probably play that again soon on stream somewhere because it's it's. It's fun just to to have a mess around on the the old arcade machines. What else have I played? Let's have a look. A couple of games that I have played, I've touched at. Uh, one is uh, Walson. Uh, Walson. Walson, Lords of Mayhem. Um, I think it's French. I think it's a French developer. Um, this is very much a, a action RPG akin to something like Diablo. And this this is what got my attention to it because it is a it is like a it is like a modern Diablo. It looks you know Diablo three is feeling like a little long in the tooth now, and How it's still dare you. It's, I'm not saying it's, it's still an amazing game, but you can't tell me that game looks amazing. It still looks How fine. It's you. fine, but I tell you what, what playing this game now you're going wow this this is like made like with like really up-to-date graphics sort of thing and proper crisp looking you know models and stuff like that it is very much one of those games and it's very good it's very good from what i've played um i know i've seen a lot of people say it's got loads of bugs in it but they are constantly updating it and doing different things to it to to fix these bugs but yeah so far i've, I've played about two hours of it and i played that i played that two hours solidly i just played a two hour stint of it and i just played I kept going through it and just going through it and just more and more and he's like it's, it's very much that thing of like oh there's loot on the floor enemies drop all this loot oh it's gold okay pick that up and it's it's very much one of those games but it's been fun the story seems fine from what I've played so far um, but yeah it was very much like if you, if you like Diablo and you're looking and you've played Diablo to death and you <laughs> still want some of that like sort of AR action RPG sort of thing 
And then I'll just play you, Diablo again, you monster, you like do. I okay. always do. I, it, I, know, I, I felt think... like your list was going, if you like Diablo and you played Diablo to death and you've been playing Football Manager and Civilization and Total Wrestling <laughs> for, for nine weeks, <laughs> well, then the maybe... <laughs> Kev, you've, you've, you've finished Diablo once. This is true. I don't think you've ever finished it. Yeah, I finished it on Switch last year. Yeah, see, the thing is, people have been playing this constantly since it came out. Yeah, they're nerds. So it's, they're getting to a yeah, but they're saying people like that are getting to a point where how much more can you play together? I know they've got seasons in it and they've got all these different things in Diablo. Uh, but if people just want something like a, a new campaign sort of thing, this is it. And it, I think it, I think I paid thirty quid for it. It's thirty quid on Steam. It's not like a, it's not like a forty fifty quid game. It's thirty quid on Steam. That's what kind of went. Oh, but yeah, that's not bad. But actual price for it, and. Mm. It's not bad. It is, like I say, I've not had any issues with it per se myself, but I'd, like I said, I know there have been bugs. Um, and they've got like the, the skill tree thing. Oh my lordy. The skill tree is bonkers. Now I'm interested. It, it is, it, mm-hmm. honest to God. You want to you you look trees. at the Im- you want to look at the image of the skill tree on this thing. It is like, it just is a I'll mad, level with you, Pab. I got offended and forgot what the game was called quite early on, so I can't. <laughs> Uh, it's called Walson, W O L C E N. Uh, it's called Walson, and like I say, I, I don't know. It's a strange name, but anyway, it's it's been it's been very fun to to play and think of. And I, I will get back to it at some point. I know uh, it's got like I say, it's got online stuff on it, like Diablo and whatever, so you can play it with. Uh, this has only got a six out of ten rating. Yeah, I know. Tab. That's what I mean. It's, it's, I know because it, I know it's cricket. Yeah. It's, it, I know it's got a lot of a lot of I had a lot of bugs on release and it, like I say it got panned for that and I don't I've, like I say I didn't see any bugs with it myself, um, but I know that like I say I know they are actively working on it so we'll just see like I say I've not noticed yet any bugs myself but like I say I've only played two hours it but it was been fun. Um, the other thing I have briefly touched on is something that we got sent uh, Hunt Showdown. Um, I've only played it on my own. This is this is like a. It's like a, a take on a on a battle royale, but it's it's different. It's like a two v two v two v two two v two v two. I have to do the math. <laughs> How many is that? Eight. I think it's eight player games, and you are you are you're in teams of two. And I've I've been trying to get a friend of mine who's got the game as well to to. I've been trying to coordinate a game, and I've not been able to do it, which is why I've not talked about it yet because we got it a week or so ago. Um. And I've been played. I've played a bit of it on my own just to get a taste of it. We'll talk more about it when I actually get to play it properly with with uh, with people that are in a group with. Um, you are like hunters trying to find on this big map, and you are trying to find like hunt down this mon this like big monster type thing, and basically like collect the whatever it is you're taking from it. You're collecting. I can't remember what it is now. You collect. You're harvesting whatever it is from the from the big bad monster type thing in the in in the map somewhere, and you're trying to get out. You're trying to extract. Um, but you don't know where this monster is in this map. You don't know where the other the other teams are on this map. You just get randomly dropped, um, and you you find clues. You find a clue uh, in this like like an area that's filled with monsters, and you kill all these monsters. And you find a clue, and then it leads to like a point like. It, you, on your map it closes off an area of the map and it says it's in this area so then you go okay so it's in this section but you don't know how many clues the other teams have got you don't know what they know you don't know if people are in that already in that section of the map so they could be there but once you once you find the once someone starts like extracting or you know or when someone's someone finds the big boss at the end it, everyone's alerted on the map saying it's here someone's fighting it so or someone's you know harvesting it and you've then got to get there and kill them, and you can take it from them. You can steal it from them. So you could you could effectively sit at the, at the the exit point like of the map, and just wait to just wait to kill them, kill them off, and take them. You can also take, I think, if I remember rightly, you can take your teammates' stuff as well. So if you can you do that, <laughs> you I can't remember. I, I, I played very little of it because, like I say, I, but I, I I know like I say because we've been sent it and. We want to talk about it, and I wanted to say something about it, but it, I, I can't remember whether it. I never actually got fully through. I never survived, basically. 
to get through a game where I could, to whether I could take your friend's stuff. I think I don't think you can. I think you can just take. I think you can get out. You can extract on your own sort of thing if your teammate gets killed. And it's, it's one thing I say. It looks very nice. It's. It, I mean. I mean the monsters of its grip. It's very pretty looking game. It's good. Good graphically. Um, but it's not easy. It's not easy. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, I think you. I think you require people, you know, you know like a team to you know, like you conversing with to get through this game better. Uh, but we'll get more of that when I actually get to play it with someone who else who I know has played the game and has the game. So we'll talk about that late, uh, at a later stage. Uh, the other thing that I have briefly played yesterday, and God knows why, I started Mass Effect Andromeda. Why? <laughs> I don't know. I'm I'm watching someone play the Mass Effect series in a minute on Twitch, and they were saying that Mass Effect and isn't that isn't that bad. They didn't think it was that bad, and all and they were saying like by like now at this stage, everyone's problems that they had and they got panned because it was buggy and it was a mess. They fixed all that. It's all been fixed. So I went, you know what? It was like six quid. I used the uh, Kev's CD keys link and Good bought boy. it on. Link down in the keys. isn't it, Pat? Yes, I think hey, so. Good boy. Um, yeah, so I got it, and I played it, and I tell you what, that game is pretty good <laughs> from what I played. No, I played it. I played it two hours. It's fine. It was absolutely fine. It's just because think... you're so far past it now that you've forgotten what a good Mass Effect game is like. I. But this is the other thing. I only played three. You're an idiot, Pab. Really? Yeah. You need to play two. Two was. You the... remember this, Sheepdog? I played hours and hours of multiplayer played... with you, Sheepdog. Yeah, yeah, we played three together a lot. We played so much of she- uh, multiplayer, me and Sheepdog, of Mass Effect 3, trying to get that approval rating, whatever it was. You had to get that world readiness rating up, didn't you? Something, oh, if I remember yeah, rightly. Yeah. And it was just like, um, you can do it in game or you can do it in multiplayer. So I'm going to do it in multiplayer then. I, but I got Andromeda and I played it probably, I want to say like 10 hours. It probably wasn't, no, me. But um, I got bored of it because it felt like it never really got going. Like, I don't know where... where, I remember being on the desert planet and it was telling me to go from A to B. But then once I got to B, it didn't tell me what to do next. So I ended up wandering around. And then I I triggered some sort of story. Yeah, well, that's probably it. And then I triggered a bit of story. And then I was in this big sort of complex metal structure thing and I kept making things come become active and then characters were appearing and not joining me and I wasn't sure whether I'd scared them off or hired them or what and uh, I ended up just kind of bumbling around going from, from metal structure to metal structure and then I think I did get to some story <laughs> in an underground thing that I had to escape and it was all like quick time, press a button, go under a door type thing and then I think it just, it just, yeah, it felt really buggy. But it'd be interesting to, if I was to try and play it now, I don't, I don't even think my save game would be accessible if I uninstalled it, would it? I, I think you save will be, yeah, you save, you save should be yeah. fine, sheepdog, because it'll probably be cloud saved somewhere Is it on Xbox. Yes, so yeah, it'd be cloud saved. I would have thought. Do you think the bugs will have been fixed on saved games, or would I need to start again? Because I do feel like I could have gone back know. to that. I, 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 I potentially yes. I imagine the probably the bugs may have been fixed, but whether it's, it's like, it... like I've played that twice. Like I didn't finish it because I I played it when it came out and it was really buggy. Mm-hmm. But I I stumbled my way through it and then I just went off because I, will, I just wasn't invested in it and I, I was sick of the facial animation. Is that what you're well, in? I've noticed that as I was like saying that like. I know that was a big thing when the game came out, and it, I thought people had like said like it had been a lot of the stuff of that that had been kind of fixed and what have you. Mm. But my character doesn't half look a bit derpy. Yeah, I remember being <laughs> really what frustrated. Is, what, that why is it worse? Just looks like just like it's like what are you? Why are you looking like that? They look <laughs> Disney like. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, They've got massive um, eyes. Yeah, some of them do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I can see that now. But it, it was it, the combat cut was was fun, um, and like I say, it, the, the story thing seems okay. It looked amazing. I, I I like the fact that the game came on and went. We've looked at your set. We've looked at what you've got. All your uh, all your uh, setup there. We're going to put you on medium. I went, medium. 
This is a game from 2016. Why are you telling me I can only run this game on medium? Like, turn it up, crank it up, mate. That's, and it looks pretty damned amazing. It's frighteningly good looking. Um, Say that about me. Yeah, sheepdog. It was about you, sorry. Um, but yeah, it's been fun. I, I'm, I was playing it yesterday and I got about an hour in. I was like, why am I doing this? Why am I starting Stop another... Stop because I'll go and play it again. Yeah, yeah I do just like Mass Effect. I'm too busy for I this. I want to like it, but it's just like, I, it's, it's like, I do what, I'm playing Red Dead and I can't be doing this because I'm just going to forget the controls for everything. It's just, I shouldn't be doing this because the controls are nothing Red Dead. It is about <laughs> trying to think, trying to pressing buttons like as if I'm playing Mass Effect. And I'm also seeing that you can now cross save on the Switch with uh, Witcher. And I've transferred oh, okay, my yeah. I've transferred my Witcher save into my PC save for a potential stream of Witcher at some point. Call it I'm like, I, said, I said I can't do it. I honestly cannot do it at the minute. I cannot put another open world game that's that is fiddly controls and finicky. I just cannot do that as well because I by the end by the about an hour into Mass Effect, I was like, I don't know what crouch behind cover is. I don't know what the button is, and it's not on the it's not on the config of the buttons. Mm-hmm. I was so, so I was just kind of I was just kind of dodging every. I was just kind of like stood up stood up in front of people, just kind of shaking around, just kind of dodging bullets because I, I don't know how to crouch behind stuff. So I was like, I cannot do this. So I don't know if it's a wise idea to start three massive open world games all at once, sort of thing, and be playing them all. That yeah, I'll just never remember the controls. But did you do see it anyway. you completed uh, Andromeda Anna? No, I never completed it. I I got very confused of what was happening. I was just wondering um, whether either of you knew them, whether because obviously they haven't made a, a, another one, mm-hmm. but I, I assumed that this new Andromeda system area, whatever they, it's called, where they went, was going to kick off a new trilogy, and obviously it never went anywhere. It was, it, it was I going it was to, like, I think. Yeah, I wondered whether it had an open ending that was supposed to progress onto new games. Well, it, it definitely goes off that planet. Like you go elsewhere, yeah. and you do other things. Um, but yeah, p- because it got panned, they're like, we're not doing anything. Else yeah, they, they they stepped it back quite a bit. Do you reckon they'll try and do it again, maybe next gen? Uh, they will. They will probably more than likely, you know, ha- you, um, remake it. it. Yeah, remake the old ones. Probably one to three. Make a collection of one to three before they they go back to the to the drawing board with that. Realistically, I f- I think I feel like that's they, they've burnt the too many bridges now. Yeah, oh, goody the ma- remake. The ma- I'm saying a, a, ma- a remake a trilogy of of one to three is probably more likely. They can bang it all on one well, probably, install. It, it probably would do that because that's not that came out. The last one came out on three sixty. So it's not been on the last this this current gen of systems at all. So people are probably clambering for it anyway. So the, com- the combined install of that trilogy is probably like ninety gig, if not a bit less. So if they manage to, to upgrade it entirely a bit, it's probably not that much bigger than normal games now, is it? So... Um, yeah, well, yeah, possibly, yeah. But yeah, I, that's what I think they'll do realistically because I know they actively said that they are they're kind of stepping away from Mass Effect for the time being. So. They'll probably come back at some point, but probably give it, probably give it, let this one breathe a bit, let people kind of forget that it existed, and then they'll probably come back to it and go, "Do you remember Mass Effect? What a great series!" <laughs> probably, probably do that. Other than that, that is all I've played. Well, Pab, you really haven't pulled your weight this week. I'm very disappointed. Yes, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'll try harder next week. Um, Anna, have you got any any more? There was what was the thing you were waiting for and wanting to steal my computer to play? Oh, Would Wasteland. You... Yeah. The first one. Yeah, but I I could put it on and I wasn't that interested because I had to, I just I I had, had a bad, bad day and it wasn't what I was expecting. I thought it'd be at least 3D and it was not. I just didn't want to. But it's work a game from out. 1998 or something, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so I didn't. When you said at least 3D, I thought I'd misheard you, and then I thought Bye. maybe it was a VR game or something. But no, you just. You're talking about a game that's really old. Yes. Well, they they, they re-released it. They uh, remastered it. And I thought, oh, I like Wasteland. Can't waste on freeze out at some point. I'll give this a, a, a little gander. But yeah, it's a very big step back from two. Um, because so it was I'll 20 years previously. Yeah, I know. But 
Oh, I wanted to have a go. I wanted to have a look. And I had a look for five minutes and then that was it. Because it was supposed to come out on... The, the thing with Game Pass is it was supposed to come... Well, it was supposed to come out on the 25th. I had it I had it open. I had Game Pass open on the 25th, but it wasn't coming out until 9. 9 p.m. And I just thought that was ridiculous. But then Kevin's like, that's because they are asleep. And I was like, yeah, but I'm awake now. So... I had to wait for that, so I didn't play that. But Whichever one of you's taken their microphone to the toilet with them, that really wasn't no, necessary. No, sorry, my wife has just come out and started making a drink. And... Push the mute button, man. What are you doing to me? <laughs> I didn't even think about that. You've got a dedicated button now. <laughs> She's leaving the room now. <laughs> You're leaving the bathroom, more like. Don't blame this on poor old Kirsty. Blimey. We heard the door open, we heard you unzip, we heard the the splashing. <laughs> I apologise for that noise. Anna, please continue now, Sheepdog, stop being disgusting. Um, I also have played, um, oh my god, what's it called? What did I play? Oh my god, my mind's gone blank. Give me a clue. Diablo style game. Diablo. Oh. No. That one oh Pab was god. talking about. No. <laughs> Oh, no. oh my god, what's it called? It's on the Switch. Torchlight. Uh, like uh, yeah, Torchlight. Torchlight. Yes, I played Torchlight 2 on the Switch while I was in the London um, because I had nothing else to play. Yeah, you played this all weekend. I did. It's good. I put a lot of hours in Torchlight. Very yeah, good. It's, got, it's, it's like Diablo, just a bit more cartoon like. Yep. And you get and, a pet. And you people need to stop yes. telling me things are like Diablo. Because I, was fooled, in, I was fooled into getting Torchlight 2 back when it came out years ago on PC. And it's it is Rumble. not like Diablo. It's not as big as Diablo. Are you kidding me? It's it exactly is, like it. it, is, it it's is. just colourful. Yeah, yeah, it's much exactly. more colourful. It's not as dark and grim. Exactly. No. I want dark and grim for my games. Oh, I put a lot of hours over the weekend into this. Like so many hours, because I I just couldn't put it down. Like I was like, right, I've got an area. I'll go and do this area. Oh, I found a portal. Oh, I'll go through there. Spend another twenty minutes in there trying to find whatever I was trying to find. It, yeah, and then I have a pet that I can send back to the village when I have too much stuff. I remember. Yeah, that's, that's, that's that was good. That's good. Yeah. So that, that was, that's what I played on the Switch. I also dabbled in. Uh, Dead Ellis, Dead Souls. Dead Ellis. <laughs> um, so I have that on Switch. I bought the download, the new DLC, and so it's just new areas. That was fun. And then I played it on the Xbox the other day. So it's like when I was waiting for um, Wasteland on the 25th, I was waiting. I thought, well, I've got Dead Ellis is also, or, always, is, also, is also on there. And I thought, well, I'll just have a go. Yeah, I didn't come off that for an hour and 10 minutes because I was doing one run. Like, I, yeah. I've gone to, like, six different places. Like, normally I do the first three, I get the boss, and then I can probably do another level. But then I died. This one was, I was just going from level to level, beating bosses, beating bosses. I was like, this is the longest one I've ever had. So that that was fun. So I've seen, like, I got to, like, the king's, the king's hand or something. And then I, I died a very painful death. But that, that was fun. Um, what else have I been playing? I'm just dabbling in uh Division Two. Just oh, I like Division. I really have you seen like that Division. in a minute? Yeah, currently got... two pound fifty. <sighs> two pounds fifty at the minute. It's not, I know it was on two pound fifty on the Epic Store, and I know it's been that on yeah. the Xbox as well. But that is worth two pound fifty of anybody's money. Definitely, because they're bringing out on March no eight. No, March the 4th, uh, it's, uh, back to New York. So you're going back to where it started. And I cannot wait for that. Because I like where we are at the moment, Washington. But I did like New York. I did like, like the high uh, skyscrapers and just the New York feel. But we're going to Coney Island. I'm, I'm not sure what that is, if it's like an actual island or... Coney Island is an island, I think, yeah. Is it? Okay. I didn't know if it so. was like one of them like Jersey, which is an island connected to some I don't know. It's weird. But that's going back there, uh, because a rogue agent has gone obviously rogue. So to go back to that, I've got 
myself an orange weapon at my level. I love getting orange things. They're excellent. And then, like, when you do certain missions, you get tokens to spend in the shop. But you get loads of them. Like, I've never not spent a penny. Are you still, are you still playing this on your own, Anna? Yeah. Yeah, I just, it, just go around That game I, seemed always hard to me when I was playing on my own. Oh, no, like, when I go to mission missions, I'll I'll connect with other people. Right, Like, okay. I don't have to talk to them. But when I'm just walking around, I'll just be on my own. Yeah, doing yeah, what yeah, I need yeah. To do. But, yeah, I will always try and find people to play with. It is, sometimes there is a bit of wait because everyone, because so, I like to start again. So, like, I'm in the low levels and you do have to wait a little bit for people to be there. But, like you said, it's on sale at the moment. More it's people it's free at the week. This it's weekend free is free. Weekend. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, so, you, you've got to play it early, early on games. Now's your time. Mm-hmm, definitely. It's a good game. It's very fun. And then I also purchased Dreams. Okay. That's, um... Dreams, eh? Yeah. <laughs> so, <clears throat> there is stuff That's done by um, Media Molecule. Cool. Um, I, that's all. Like, like I've only played the thing that's called Art Stream. This this Art Stream is basically made in Dream. Everything that's in there is made from this program. Yeah. Um, yeah. It is long. Like it is like I've I played it when it first came because I got it. It was like late at night. Brought it home and I was playing. I just played it for an hour. I was like, oh, it would be a short game. The first thing I did is went to Fallout. Because I saw someone yes. that they'd done a Fallout one, and I was like, I'm, I'm in there. I'm going to that. So I went to that. That was fun. Then I went to Skyrim, and that was really ropey. Like, they had literally only just started that. I was like, I'll leave that alone for a bit. Then I went onto the Media Molecule page, and it's got one called this Art, Art Stream. And it's about this guy that's going to leave his band, and he keeps... He wants to go and say sorry, but you go through this journey with him, and yet you have to go and catch his dragon. I know it sounds weird, but it's it's gonna be weird, and I've been a robot. I've been some uh, little puppets. I've been like the actual man. It's all of it, and and, and there is a weird. There's a guy that keeps reoccurring, and he raps at you. They are some of the best things I've ever seen. <laughs> like I sit there, yeah. I'm going, like he, he's singing to me about trains, and then he sang to me in a rap about a password. And I was like, okay, but they're really, really strange. Hang on, it's an actual really person fun. doing this. Yeah, yeah. I, I think they've, like, I think they've got themselves together. And made it's a recording, it, though, isn't it? It's a recording. Yeah, I'm, I'm. It's not. It's not someone on the other end of a microphone no. literally speaking to you. No, no, no. Why okay. I'm paying you? Like, obviously, they upload it and then leave it. Yeah. and Play it. That's good. Like, then. A, like uh, this one has stages, so you can come out of it. And then just go back and continue when you want. Because I was playing, I was like, I'm really tired. I want to go to bed. And I thought it was just going to be like a small thing that Media Molecule was going to try and show you. But no, this has got an eye on. And I, I think I'm nearly on, near the end of it. But as you go through, you know from uh, Little Big Planet where you collect bubbles, mm -hmm. the bubbles are back again. So you're collecting the bubbles for the items that you can use in your making i will never make anything because i am not that way inclined at all <laughs> not at all like andrew he will he will play well when he used to play a little bit planet uh whichever he had one he would always be in the making area not making anything but he would be putting things down because that's what he wants to do and he would be up down laying things i'm like i can't do that i have no I don't have anything like that, but I will gladly just have a look at what people's making because I have heard yeah. it's very good. It, it's, like people have made Mario in it and and stuff. They made like everything, that, so. everything. They made remade PT in it. It's bizarre. There's so much stuff in this game. It's frightening. It's good okay. though. It's nice. To oh have yeah, yeah. It, it, it's it's again. very tempting just just to go and have a look at what there is in that game because there's so much stuff that people are making and it's like it's not even just the remakes and stuff. I mean, the remakes is fascinating because like how are they making stuff that's not even in the same engine? There. It's not even in the same yeah. engine. They're, yeah. they're making it stuff by hand pretty much, and it's it's like it is like insane how how like clever these people are to make this stuff and to get it running mm -hmm. thank you very much Pat. 
Have you been doing it? Oh, right, <laughs> sorry. But I assume it's uh, directed at people like me. Kev, okay, there's a game out on Switch that it doesn't say it's like Diablo, but it might be it might be up your street. I just got sent this picture. Um, it's a sheer coincidence. I happen to record be recording a gaming podcast as I got sent it. But um, it just says, have you ever wondered how difficult it is to shoot a ski jumper on the fly with a sniper rifle? Yes. Ski sniper gives you the perfect opportunity to find out. And then it lists ski all the sniper. different things. <laughs> yeah. It's four ninety nine on Switch. Discover all the sniper weapons, including a crossbow. Um, complete objectives and special rewards. Tell me this is a light gun game and I'm in. <laughs> Watch your perfect shot trajectory from the special bullet camera perspective. Uh, buy the bullet damage you've done in x-ray mode and choose your perfect sniping spot. Become the best <laughs> ski sniper in the world. If they added like Diablo in the, <laughs> at the end there, <laughs> you'd be all over it. But yeah, four ninety nine on Switch came out today. So that's cutting edge well, gaming news. There'll be a full review of that next week. Don't you worry <laughs> if Pab gets it. Sorry to interrupt your reviews there, Anna, but I felt like Sorry, carry on. careful to enjoy it. Um, I'm done, <laughs> so you can carry on. I think, I think we're all done, aren't we? Or did you have more, Anna? Um, I just no, went to drink got... a candle thinking it was my drink. Whoops. Oh, nice. Um, <laughs> I picked it up and thought, that's not a drink, that's a candle. This tastes funny. It smells like strawberries. Probably would be nice to drink, then, I imagine. Yeah, it probably would. I'm not going to, though. At least and... not on microphone and on that note i think i'll wrap up the podcast because it's sleepy time and i'm tired anna has been making me drive around the world all this week and i need to rest my delicate limbs i've done a lot of driving in the last week anna it's broken me in half it wasn't just because me it's all because of you it's all because of you (laughs) Mm. um if you want to follow us on twitter that would be super duper um and you can do it at mguk podcast you can follow me at lalujo I'm at RB6K. I'm at Miss Lelujo. And I'm at Pab1986 on Twitter and Twitch. Oh, I see. We're plugging Twitch now, are we, Pab? I see. I've got to. And now we're going to play a little game called, well, one of my two monitors just locked up and it seems to have crashed about half of through that podcast, but Audacity still seems to be running. So I wonder if the podcast still exists. <laughs> see you out. next week, boys and girls. Bye. Bye-bye. Thanks for listening, folks. You're welcome.